Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is May 31st, 2020. This is my 37th episode about the programming language C++20 standard. In this episode, I will discuss C++20 standard, Ranges Library. This is our first tutorial. More specifically, we will learn how to use STD views filter. Please understand that to follow my current session, you have to watch my previous video, episode 34, and you have to install or upgrade GNU G++ version 10 on Windows. If you haven't watched my previous video, please double click this link. By watching this video, you have to upgrade GNU G++ to version 10.1 on Windows. If you haven't installed the GNU G++ compiler, then you probably have to watch episode 01, set up hello world C++20 command line. Or you have to also watch episode 00. Please visit ISO C++ standard homepage by clicking this link. ISO C++ org. From this website, Please double click Compiler Conformance Status. If you scroll down C++ 20 library features, you can find the One Ranges proposal. Please double click this link. This is the primary source for learning C++ 20 ranges. Okay? If you want to learn more about the range libraries, you have to read this documentation. This is 226 pages long. You can double click this link and download on your local machine. I know you hate reading these documentations, but don't worry, I will read this documentation carefully and help you learn how to use range libraries in the future sessions. By the time you watch this video, you can double click this link and download the complete source code. Without further ado, let's get started. Start Visual Studio Code, open your working folder, select empty space, click this button, 037, Ranges. Hit enter. Click this button. Ranges.cpp. Hit enter. Ctrl B. Please note that as of today, May 31st, 2020, only GNU G version 10.1 supports C 20 Ranges library. As always, include talk play fun, output HPP. We need to include ranges for C20 ranges library. MSBC and Clang does not yet support ranges library. Talk play fun, S stream, stream. Auto and there, talk play fun and there, single carry the return and plush out to console. Auto and L, talk play fun and L to carry the returns and plush out to console. For the test. Range views filter. Int main. I will copy this function name. Copy, paste, std, vector b ic container. We initialize 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 elements. Don't forget semicolon here. String range in action and there for auto I will use I value reference I container stream 
I don't forget stream and a to carriage return. Now start your command prompt. If this command prompt is unfamiliar to you, that means you haven't installed GNU G++ compiler. In such case, you have to watch two or three of my previous video. You probably have to watch all videos titled with the setup, setup, setup. Also, you have to watch episode 34, setup. Now here, dir cd 037 ranges. DIR G++ version. You should have G++ version 10.1. Otherwise, it does not work. G++ SDD C++ 20. Let's try it. Ranges.cpp. Don't forget LTBB O G.exe. Hit enter. Wow, it built. CLS G. I will copy this command message, copy, and paste it here. Now, I will copy this part, paste, and I will create some filter, auto, even. I define lambda, I use all value reference. This is not actually all value reference. This is forwarding reference, or I can say, Type name T T. We can also do like this. I okay. This template parameter in Lambda was introduced in C20 standard. Template parameter for Lambda was introduced to C20 core language. Now return this is even. So I Mars low to this is art. Then we can say negate or add. In this case, we can simply use forwarding reference. I return I Mars low to add number. Okay, don't forget semicolon here. Or scale or I return i times i. Please note that the type of i is forwarding reference. The same is true. Now, here, don't forget semicolon. Before we further proceed, let's find out the type of i. What will be the type of i? We can check the type of i like this. Stream type of i talk play fun get type category i and there. Now I copy this once again. Copy paste. Now in this case we use curly brace 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Other numbers. What will be the type of i in this case? I will say what will be the type of j. I will change it to j, 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 j. Please watch this part very carefully. Understanding the type of J and the type of I is very important. We used forwarding reference here. Now, we build again CLS G. Type of I is L value reference. In this case, container is named. Container defined here is named. So, this is forwarding reference. This forwarding reference 
resolves to L value reference. In this case, the type of J is constant L value reference. Don't forget this fact. Whenever your algorithm does not work as expected or predicted, then double check the type using get type category. Please keep this point in mind. Whenever your algorithm does not work as expected or predicted, double check the type of the variable using talk play fun get type category. Now let's move on. For auto, this is forwarding reference. I container we use filter. This is pipe or filter. Now std views filter even. Here stream ranges in action filter even numbers. And then, now here, stream, I, don't forget, stream, and L. Okay? Up to this point, it is the same with this code. Using this filters operator, we use std views filter. Don't mind the skigger on the views. Okay? Now, stream ranges in action filter add numbers. And then for auto, please note that this is a forwarding reference container. We use pipe. Pipe symbol, or we say filter symbol. std views filter add stream i stream and there. Now we create another function. I will just copy. Copy. I make demarcation faced. Now here, filter even numbers and the scale. Okay, filter other numbers and the scale. Now here, we use pipe again. Now std views transform. We use scale. This scale is defined here. We scale the value of i. Now, here, once again, pipe std views transform scale. Okay? Now, I will delete this part. In the command prompt again, we build again. CLS G. So range in action, filter even numbers. From this vector, we display or filter only even numbers. Filter other numbers. We filtered other numbers. Filter even numbers and scale. We filtered even number and scared. We filtered other numbers and scared. So all these functions work correctly. As you may know, I do translation for living. These days I am very busy doing translation. If you like my videos and give like buttons, I can gain more audience then I can create my videos more frequently. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.